How was your night, my African guys? <laughs> Luxurious as always. Um, it was all right. What you doing up making all that noise? Oh, hey, girl. I was just so taking... you heard all that noise Tori was making last night? <laughs> yeah, she gets that way whenever Tristan's around. I thought Tori and Tristan broke up. So if it wasn't Tristan, then, then who was it? Um, it, it was... Hold on. It's Nikki. You know what I'm excited for? What's that? The 4th of July. It's like one of my favorite holidays. It's always a good time. You know, barbecue, drinks, the pool. Exactly. Come to think of it, it is a pretty great it's holiday. Popping, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, thing is though, people never really think of it as a holiday for good food. Nah, not really, but that's only because they're always serving up those dry ass hockey puck burgers from like the Mighty Ducks right? movie. Form the flying V. Quack, 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 I do not want your Emilio Estevez burger, oh. right? Then they taste some beers, they just throw them in a the cooler. Come on, man, pick some drinks for the family. You're right, you're right. I don't get you it. You know what, that's it. What we gonna do? Let's get in here and reinvent the 4th of July barbecue menu. We should. Drinks first. Because we're sick of your struggle plate. Fed up with your food porn. This, this is, is Butter, Butter and Brown. Brown. chill, cook up a little something, kick it. Same old, same old. What you doing? I'll actually be doing the same thing, except for I'll be at a wedding looking fly as hell in a tux. Let you tell us. Um, I'm going to be making a menu because you know my barbecue will be on. Yeah, the one you had last year was awesome and I was so happy I didn't have to eat a frozen patty off a grill. Mm -hmm, you got to play that. Those frozen patties are always free to burn, even when you buy them. And that Miracle Whip, it's just not that powerful. You're right. Once you get to your late 20s, early 30s, it's time to step your barbecue game up. You Serve some brisket, you know, grilled fish, kebab, right. something. And give people more than one meat option. You got lamb, turkey, do a little pulled pork. You know what? Let's do that today. Some nice pulled pork on toasted brioche buns. You want? With a little, little homemade, homemade sauce? sauce? What? What's happening? Come on, let's stop begging. Let's, let's go to the kitchen. Well, y'all, as promised, today we're gonna help you take your 4th of July barbecue from mediocre to miraculous. After today's recipes, your house is gonna be the spot for function. Listen, let's be honest. We all know that it's easy just to go grab some hot dogs and just throw some meat on the grill, but wouldn't your holiday be so much better if the food didn't taste like something at your play cousin's family reunion?
Who who made the potato salad? The potato salad. Who made it? Who made the cobbler? Uh, Auntie, who? Yeah. Who made the potato salad? Who's on this kebab? This potato salad is more like mashed potato salad. Who made this damn food? Don't make no sense, man. Honestly, barbecues wouldn't be so bad. If only Uncle Junebug would get off the phone for a second or let somebody else cook. If only they didn't squeeze all the juice out the burger. Gloria, did you... Did you turn left on MLK? If only they didn't use that frozen patty. No, you make a laugh. A laugh, Gloria, a laugh. If only they didn't just season it with a little bit of Lowry's. He could have been watching the burgers. They wouldn't have been burnt. It's not just the food that makes barbecues bad. If only my auntie wasn't judging me for drinking. I'm an adult. If only daddies didn't turn over the tables after they lost the domino game. If only Cousin Pete would stop asking me when I'm having kids. Nigga, I'm not even married. Chill out. If only somebody's little badass kid wasn't there knocking everything over. If only we had name tags for this family reunion. If only my grandmama wasn't asking me about that dude I don't bring around no more. It's over, Grandma. It's over. Am I related to her? Nah, I can't do that. Let's raise the standards of barbecue, y'all. Today, you're gonna need a pork butt or shoulder, and that's the cut we're gonna use for this meal right here. You're gonna start off by seasoning it with the trifecta. Onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. Plus salt, pepper, fennel seeds, coriander, cumin, and chili powder. I've got a finished product right here. To ensure that the pork is seasoned thoroughly, we wanna rub it down thoroughly with that spice rub. After that, we're gonna take it over to our Dutch oven, which is already at high heat. We're gonna add a little olive oil and place it fat side down. We're gonna let that sear and let the fat render out for a little while. Then we're gonna add our brine, which is just made up of water, molasses, and salt. Then we're gonna place the whole thing in the regular oven at a temperature no higher than 210 and just let it cook low and slow for 16 hours. Wow. Oh. <laughs> well, as you can see, in true TV magic, it's already done. Ding. Seriously though, you can achieve with the pulled meat by using your fingers, a fork, or even a pair of tongs. Once it's done, you can eat it just like that or dip it in some barbecue sauce. Now we whipped up our own sauce, but you can use the same simple recipe and you can find it on butterandbrown.com. Or if you like, you can use any old barbecue sauce. We're partial to a sweet, sweet baby, baby raise or a grandmama special. You know it. And as you can see, we have a little bit of potato salad on our plate made with some Dijon mustard, dill, and bacon. We also have another salad made of romaine, cute watermelon, and crumbled feta. We also tossed it in a little bit of a citrus vinaigrette. We fancy. Mm -hmm. But really, I'm just ready to taste this sandwich. Let's do it. You want a little sauce? Yes. Sauce. Just put a little bit though. Okay. Just a little, just a little bit. I don't like dry barbecue, but I don't like too much. Barbecue. You don't want to. Okay. 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 Y'all ready? Y'all ready? This for me. Let's go. Okay. Say it. Mmm. Oh my god. Seriously? Give me some second. Just, I didn't This is so good. This is exactly what I need to get my wobble on later. I'm like, you're just black to the end. Oh my <laughs> God. Listen. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Butter and Brown. Be sure to follow us everywhere at Butter and Brown. And don't forget, if you guys try any of these recipes, remember to hashtag us, Butter and Brown. Until next time. We'll see y'all. Peace. Peace.